I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. I'm here to do a review on the Mission Blaze compound bow uh, from Matthews. Uh, Mission is the bottom of the line Matthews product designed for a budget um, archer. This is the top of the line Mission. So basically the bottom of the line Matthews. Um, this bow shoots at 340 feet per second. I think it's 33 inches axle axle. Uh, seven, I think it's a seven or six inch brace height. It's a nice shooting bow. Now I want to go through basically the difference between this bow and the other bows and then compare it to some other bows at the same price then go and shoot this bow. Now the first thing about the Blaze is the cams. These cams are very similar and I'm going to say almost identical to the top of the line Math um, Matthews Chill series bow. This is a twin cam setup, so the top cam and the bottom cam are identical. They have a roller bearing on the inside of the cam, and then outside what the yokes sit on are both roller bearings. So these move, and you'll see they move on a. So I'm going to move the, I'm going to move the yokes, and you can see the actual orange thing here actually moves as well. To change the draw length on this bow, it's modular, so if you buy this bow and you want to change the draw length, you need to buy new modules and they're going to cost you about $50 a set. So if you're 27 inches and you want to try 27 and a half, it's going to cost you $50. Um, it's got a wood grip, which is nice. Uh, you've got speed things here on the string. Um, now what makes this bow a budget bow? The limbs are almost identical. They have these little things on the top of them reinforces which the last chance bow press go into um, but they have a plastic limb pocket on the top of the line Matthews this is all machined so basically no expenses spared on the top of the line and for their lower lines um, for their cheaper products they basically drop drop what's on it Hoyt do very much the same and a lot of other companies do it different ways but basically the limb pocket here is the major difference now I want to grab this bow. This is the Mission Ballistic. So the Blaze sells roughly Australian dollars about eight fifty, and that depending on what our dollar is valued at at, at the time, because it goes up and down like a yo-yo. This is the Mission Ballistic, almost identical. It's about a hundred dollars cheaper. Now the major difference on this, you've got a rubber grip as opposed to a wood grip. On the blaze, you've got a harmonic dampener down the bottom of the riser. On the ballistic, you don't. Um, and the cams here on the blaze, you'll see a weight. And on the ballistic, you don't. So you're going to pick up a bit of speed on the blaze. I think it's rated at 340 feet per second. The ballistic's rated at 330 from memory. Now I want to compare it to the top of the line. So this is the Chill, Chill R. Now I shoot this bow. You'll see the cams are almost identical. They both have a weighted cam system, both modules, everything's the same. They both use stainless steel um, screws to screw the modules on, which you can basically take off without the use of a bow press. Major differences between these two bows, the limb pockets on the Chill are machined, plastic on the blaze. The grips are different. On the Blaze, you've got a wooden grip, which I find very comfortable. On the Chill, it's a focus grip, and it's a plastic grip with a line down the center, and it's kind of pointed. And I find I hold these bows differently, so when I shoot. Basically, with the Blaze, it's a very comfortable, natural grip, and with the Chill R, I'm not sure what grip I've got to have yet. I'm tending to shoot at the moment because I've had the bow for a while. I started off with low grip. I'm actually shooting high grip at the moment with this bow um, because I find my thumbs a bit more comfortable with a high grip. Um, so that's basically the difference. You've got a different riser. You've got the Matthews grid system on the chill and you've got the standard sort of riser on the blaze. So I assume this is more work to machine out or it would be more work. So more cost, you get a different cable slide. So on the blaze, you get a standard cable, cable rod with a cable slide. On the chill, you've got roller, roller system. Um, basically, that will reduce noise, reduce vibration. 
but these two bows are very very similar so difference in price the chill is going to be around thirteen hundred dollars the blaze is around nine hundred you know eight fifty so when you look at the difference i find the nine hundred dollar bow for me is a hard sale because for people starting off in archery they generally want budget bows so around 450 400 dollars and a few will push the 600 dollar boundary 900 dollars is starting to push the top of the line bow and a person who's prepared to pay 900 will go what's top of the range going to cost me and with you know if i'm comparing like to like the chill has got the added features it's about three to four hundred dollars more and people will tend to fork that out um, but I've been, you know, I read archery magazines every day and stuff. There are plenty of Matthews shooters and staff shooters who shoot this blaze. Um, and that would be over the chill. So that to me was very interesting. And that's why I'm one of the reasons why I'm doing this review. The other reason was I had a few people who actually asked about $900 bows and they came into the shop and wanted to try all the different $900 bows. And they said, you haven't done any reviews on $900 bows. So that's why I'm doing this. So next I want to compare the similar bows by other companies in this same sort of price bracket so you can compare the difference and sort of look at them and then we're going to have a shot with this bow. Um, so we'll do that now. So, so we're comparing the similar bows in the price bracket to the Mission Blaze. The first one I can want to compare it against was the Hoyt Charger. Now this is a bit down on price. This bow is around 800 odd dollars. So a little bit cheaper. Uh, you got the plastic limb pockets, light the blaze. Modules, light the blaze to adjust it. This is a cam and a half system. So you have a yoke at one end and no yoke at the other. So the cams are different top and bottom. You have a bridge riser. Now I'm pretty sure this is a cast riser. The grip on the Hoyts are lovely to hold on to. Um, they're all very similar. This bow speed I think is about 320 feet per second where the blaze is 340. So nice little bow to shoot, um, sort of a little bit cheaper in price. So we'll compare the next one. This one is the Martin Lithium LTD. It's a machine riser, bridged as well. Shoots at 340 feet per second. Um, it's got a cam and a half system. So a yoke at the top, no yoke down the bottom. It's got limb stops top and bottom so the cams come and touch the limb this bow has been extremely popular for me this year because um, it shoots really well on the price point um, this bow sells for 850 so basically the same price as the blaze speed on this bow is 340 feet per second so the same as the blaze draw length is adjustable by rotating modules so one bow suits everybody basically um, same as the blaze rotating moving cable slide and metal limb pockets so that's that now this one's a little bit up in price and i don't know if it's fair to compare but it's kind of the cheapest of the bears to kind of compare it to it's the bear agenda um price point of this bow about a thousand so you know it's up a little bit in price 150 dollars more speed's the same so you're still talking a 340 feet per second bow it's a rotating cam system module system so to adjust the drawing same as the martin and the psc is exactly the same it has um, cable stops and i think it comes with the option of limb stops but i'm not certain on that because it's not fitted to the bow um, it has dual um, string stops where your blaze has just a single one uh, this bow is very comfortable to shoot a very solid bow but more expensive so same sort of bow to sort of shoot it's a nice bow so that's the bear agenda very nice bow now this bow is a huge rival to the blaze um, and the other bows now what makes this is the PSC premonition um, what makes this bow different to the other ones it's a bit faster it's a cam and a half system um, this bow is 344 feet per second it's a 30 inch axle axle so shorter than the other bows it has the standard PSE grip um, cable slide same as the blaze single draw stop same as the blaze metal limb pockets um, and rotating modules so all your PSEs have rotating modules 
and this just has your twin cable stops top and bottom very easy to adjust your draw length on a PSE they're all lettered here and you just move it to whichever letter you need um, so that's the premonition price point on this bow I think it's about 900 so it's about $50 more expensive than the blaze so premonition the blaze is a bit longer I just want to grab the blaze so you can compare it so premonition blaze you can see the blaze is fractionally longer um, but we'll have a shot with the blaze now and you can hear it shot and see what you think thank you we're at the shooting range I'm shooting velocity gold tip arrows which are a very fast arrow with Carter release aid um, now I shoot a Matthews chiller um, I know what it is to draw it's a very smooth draw it's one of the smoothest draws of all the bows um, and they tend to have a pretty big valley on them so when you get over the peak you tend to have a lot of valley for a long period of time so it's a very I'm going to say an easy bow to shoot but that doesn't make it easy to shoot it just feels easy to shoot so let's just draw this back so as I'm drawing this bow it's gradually building up building up building up building up still building up now you can kind of feel it starting to drop it's starting to drop starting to drop starting to drop Dropping, 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 oh, really dropping now. Dropping and nothing now. And that's the sort of the valley. Now I've got in the valley that's full draw there. It's comfortable, I can hold it all day because it's 85% let off. I'm just gonna let this down. I kind of, oh, there. So the valley sort of drops off, but when you get it back there, you feel like you're holding nothing. Um, so for a bow hunter, you feel like you could hold a half a day. Um, and that's who this bow is aimed at. Now, I haven't mentioned it before, the grooves in these tracks are very, very deep. Now, the reason they do that is to try and stop people talking. When people talk their riser, they pull it back with their fingers or they grip the riser, they basically pull the string off the cable. So they pull it at an angle and the strings come off. Now, even though this bow has huge grooves in the cams, believe me, you can still derail this bow. Now, when you derail this bow, these cams will twist over and they are very solid cams. Like, there is a lot of meat to these cams. These cams will twist over, you'll shred the strings, you'll probably damage your limbs a bit, and you'll go, I didn't know that happened. Use a release aid and always have your hand, front hand loose. You'll never have a problem. Always draw with an arrow. I say it on pretty much every video I produce and I still do about four to five derails a week. So that's how many derails I do. And I'm gonna say all my derails are people who buy their bows over the internet. None are people who walk into my shop. So, and are taught to shoot, so. Bear that in mind, we're just going to take the shot so you can hear how noisy it is and the vibration. Now the grip, I find this grip more comfortable than my Matthews. It's very different to all my other bows. I shoot lots of PSEs, I've got Dartons, I've got, I shoot most bows. This grip is very, very comfortable with the wood grip. In fact, if I had the choice of this grip on my chill, I would choose this grip, the wood grip. It's a far more comfortable grip in my opinion than the chill um, but a lot of people like the Matthews grip. Matthews grip is a very some people like them and some people don't um, so when people come to my shop I give them all the bows to shoot and they go oh, I really like this Matthews grip and other people are like oh I don't seem to get the thumb right I've read lots of reviews on it it seems to be a pretty consistent theme with the Matthews top of the line grips but this grip on the blaze is just comfortable it's a lovely grip so in that respect, the bow feels the same as the chill drawback. The grip to me feels better than the chill. But I know this isn't the same quality as the chill because it doesn't have those extra features. So even though I probably like it to draw more than the chill, I would still choose the chill because it's got those extra features and it's three or four hundred dollars. I keep my bow forever, I shoot a lot. I would still pay the extra money for a chill. So let's just shoot this shot. So I draw it back. It's comfortable. So I'm going to take the shot. Now it's aiming 
the bow's very light. I think it's about a four pound bow, so it's very light to hold up. There's no fatigue on my arm or shoulders. We're gonna take the shot. Very minimal movement on that, on the shot. Now, part of the reason for that is a lot of bows you heal. So you heal down here with the bow. And as a result, when you shoot, the bow will sort of kick up like that when you shoot, and that's why you need a stabilizer. With this bow, because you tend to be a kind of a high grip, the pressure point's higher, it tends to not jump like that. Nice bow, it's quiet. There's very minimal hand shock. So when you see people shoot this bow, and the staff shooters for Matthews, you understand why they chose this bow, and they chose this over the chill. And I'm not saying I'd choose this bow over the chill, I mean I'd like to choose this bow over the chill, but I wouldn't because the chill has got those extra features. Um, the metal in pockets, the roller cable slide, it's just a little bit more refined and I like the more refined bits, but overall this is a awesome little bow at 900 is it the best value 900 dollars bow on the market i don't know people who have come in the shop who have tried all the different 900 dollars bows some have chosen this bow some haven't and some have so and it's pretty split um so and when you choose any bow on the market they're all very competitive um they all have their own little ups and downs and what's good and what's bad and anyone who says anything otherwise is lying so Basically, Math Matthews Mission Blaze, awesome little rig. If you if you own one or you're going to buy one, you're going to be more than happy with this bow. Um, these limb pockets, I don't think are going to be a problem. Being plastic, um, plastic is used by most of the bow manufacturers these days. It's been around forever. I mean, the metal is nicer. Um, if they had an upgrade kit, you'd probably upgrade it to metal. The plastic's probably going to be lighter and reduce the weight of this bow, but I mean, this bow is a nice little bow to shoot, and you're going to shoot good scores with this. And honestly, I'm not going to shoot any better scores with my chill than I would with this. So I'm paying extra money for the chill just because it's got those extra features, not because I'm going to shoot better with it. So yeah, Mission Blaze, check it out, your ultra shop, ask for a shot, um, awesome little rig, and try out the other ones too. Thank you. Bye.